Welcome gaming fans, this is the Outlaw Rockstar here with you today at Pixel Nation in downtown Bluefield, West Virginia. We're here today for the Super Tournament and we're going to get an interview with Kevin Morris about this interesting and unique gaming shop. Come with us fans. Outlaw Rockstar here fans. Well hello there gaming enthusiast. How are you today? What can you tell us about your experiences here? Keep your hands off me, I'm a star. I touch you, you don't touch me. What can you tell us about your experiences here at Pixel Nation? Amazing, great, wonderful, the best. And over here, wearing the toughest looking bunny shirt I've ever seen in my life, we've got the owner of Pixel Nation, uh, Mr. Kevin Morris. Kevin, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good, how about yourself? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Now what can you tell us about what you got going on down here, your style, you're kind of a niche market, one that's uh, been sorely lacking in the area. Uh, basically what we did is just took all what gamers wanted and put it in one place. Uh, got Super, NES, Sega, everything you can want in one place for everybody to be happy. You even have some, uh, some rather obscure older gaming systems here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we definitely wanted to try to get to that because like a bunch of people haven't seen what like a uh, Virtual Boy is or Magnavox Odyssey, and it's just kind of cool to have around. Kevin, would you mind giving us a, a quick tour around the store? I know we don't have a whole lot of space here. Pull on the wall, maybe the app description. But man, you got a lot going on in a small space. We try, we try. Uh, right here, basically, we got like the Xbox 360, the Xbox tile. We just put Microsoft over here because it's like the newest kid on the block, you would say, in gaming. Uh, we put Sony right here. There are PS3, PS2 games. We had a lot of PS1 games we had to throw over there. Um, let's see. Nintendo, then we brought Sega all the way down there. You even have an Alf doll up there. Now is the Alf doll, is that significant to you? These uh these nerdy little stuffed animals or these yours? Uh yeah, they're mine. You know, Alf. He likes to eat cats, it's kinda cool. So you're kind of a nerd, aren't you? I would say that. <laughs> would you say that you're probably the biggest nerd I'll ever meet? Sure. And are you proud of that? Heck yeah. <laughs> I like this guy's style. What we got over here, Kev? Uh, actually, we picked this up local. It's um just Donkey Kong arcade machine because, you know, it's a classic. Um, we went down to Hinton, picked it up. It was like 300 bucks, and we just kind of restored it, put some new trim on it, uh, a new panel on it. Just threw it in the store because it's retro, and everything here is retro. Are you any good at Donkey Kong? Yeah, I got the high score. You got the high score. You know, I, I kind of like to see this guy in action. I'm, I'm pretty good at Donkey Kong. We got some quarters. Can we get some quarters? quarters. All right, let's do this. I'll lay down some money on this. I'm going to kick this guy's butt. Can I say ass? I'm going to kick this guy's ass at Donkey Kong because I'm the outlaw rock star, and I freaking rule. Kevin Morris climbing the ladder as Donkey Kong. Standing and waiting in the wings. This Mario hasn't even showed up on the screen yet. He's so scared. Alright. And Mario's taking off. He's up the first ladder. Not going for the hammer. He's going to stand by the ladder. Climbs up the ladder. Barrel's coming his way though. Jump. Climbs up the other ladder. Jumps up the other barrel. Getting a little bit nervous. All right, up the other one. Oh, one more. One more time. Up the, whoop. Whoop. All right, jumps it. Up the ladder. It's doing pretty good. Now this is for a, a dollar bet, a dollar bet. He wins, he gets a dollar. I win, I get a dollar. He's got the princess. Donkey Kong's going to take her away from him. How you feeling, Kev? You feeling good about your chances? Oh, yeah. Well, you would. You're kind of an idiot. If you think you're going to beat me, nothing personal. <laughs> nothing personal. All right, Umbrella, 300 points, buddy. Doing good, doing good. Hasn't quite made it to the princess yet. What's up with that, Kev? You, you forgot how to play the... Oh! You ate it. <laughs> you got hit by a fireball. It's all right. You got another chance. Got another chance. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, Kev's got the hammer. What's he going to make happen? Is it hammer time? Excuse me, can you say that one more time? It's hammer time. Can we get a little bit of feeling like you actually have a pair between your legs? It's hammer time! 
You know, you're the reason there's a stereotype that video gamers like us don't get, uh, yeah. What the heck? How'd you do that? <laughs> I've never seen anyone beat the second level before. It's actually really good at this game. Crap. Now, uh, you think you, uh, you're doing pretty good here, don't you? Yeah. How do you feel about your odds of winning this thing, the uh, Donkey Kong Donkey Kong Challenge, Outlaw Rockstar, and uh, the Pink Bunny? I'm taking your dollar. All right. Did you just be another level? Yep. Son of a... Look at Kev go, climbing the ladders, making it happen. Making it happen. He's up and up. Oh, springy thing's going again. Springy thing's going again. Springy thing's going again. Watch out for that thing. Watch out for that thing. Son of a... Son of a... <laughs> son of a... Son of a... What's your name, big fella? Gibby. Gibby, Gibby, are you here for the Capcom vs. Marvel Super Tournament? Yes, sir. Now, do you have a favorite character in mind for this tournament? Someone you know inside and out? Wolverine. Wolverine. You like the claws? <laughs> Who would? Snickety snick, I hear you, buddy, I hear you. How do you, uh, you think Kev's odds of uh, beating me in this Donkey Kong Challenge are? Well, I don't know if anybody knows this, but uh, Kevin's a prodigy at Donkey Kong. And I've never seen him lose. Oh, just like that, I lost. Well, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Gibby, I think you got him on tilt. You're like his unlucky charm. Can <laughs> can we get you to talk a little more? A little exclusive interview here. That's what I'm here for. That's what you're here for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about you, young man? What's your name? Uh, Grant Schrader. Grant Schrader, what'd you come here today for, buddy? I'm here for the tournament and just hanging around. And who's your character going to be today? Um, honestly, I have no idea because I've never played X-Men vs. Street Fighter, but uh, earlier today I was just playing around, just getting a feel for the characters. I think I'm going to go with Wolverine and Ryu. He's going down. What level are you on right now, Kev? Same one as last time. Same one as last time. He hasn't made it any further, and inside of himself, inside that that tiny little pink bunny heart of his, he, he knows he can't beat the outlaw rock star. That's right. That's right, this is my time. Where are we at right now? Uh, basically the level three challenges. I thought you made it further than that. Um, the way Donkey Kong works out is as you climb the levels, it changes, so it gives you a harder difficulty on each level. So you go one, two, and then, like this level right here, there's level four on the fourth screen. So there's only four screens for Donkey Kong. You know? It's kind of nice. We come here, we ask about prices, and we learn a little bit about video game history. Do you actually know a lot about video game history? Um, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Listen to this guy, modest. He's on level, uh, level, level three. He's being modest. It's cute. It's cute, really. I'm not a very modest guy. I know how good I am, but I can see how you'd be uneasy standing next All to right. a celebrity. <laughs> All right, it's my time. Outlaw rock star time. I'm going to rock this. All right, now let's remember, this is all about the $2, the $2 here. This is the quarter, the quarter that I'm going to put in the machine and win this Donkey Kong Challenge. All right, all right, starting off level one. Kev, Kev made it to what, level three? Level three? Level 58, something like that. Surprisingly, a lot of historical bullet points about Donkey Kong. I didn't expect to learn that much. All right, we're off the gates. Outlaw Rockstar is climbing the first ladder. Go we'll grab this hammer thing. Now it's hammer time. Oh, take that barrel. Come on, let's hit the other one. Hit the other one. Hit the other one. Heck yeah. Two barrels. A little fireball, dude. All right. Coming up, coming up. Up, up the ladder goes the Outlaw Rockstar. Up the other ladder. All right, wait, up, up, up. Yes, jump the barrel. Come on, other barrel. Oh, jump the barrel. Son of a gun. Hit the barrel. It's all right. I've got, like, what? Two more lives? Two more lives. Two more lives. Two more chances. Making it happen. Kip died, like, three times. I'm only going to die once. Is that what I roll? Up the ladder. Ah, heck with the hammer. Skip the barrel. I'm going to go up the other ladder. Oh. Up the ladder. Ah! Oh. Alright, got one more chance, one more chance. What was uh what was Kev's score? Uh, 
Oh, 39,000. That's all right, I'm at 1,500. All right. Got the other barrel. Wait, you can't climb a ladder with the hammer? It's kind of a useless power-up. All right. One. Two. Is there a time limit on this? I got my strategy. I'm just going to jump some barrels. Son of a... All right, then. No. Not about... Two dollars to Kevin. Awesome. Two dollars, Kevin. Oh, thank you. You're the, uh... The better cheater today. <laughs> Um, you know, you were making a lot of noise in the background while I was playing the game. Uh, Gibby here was talking to uh, Froggy there, or whatever their names are. But, you know, I'm a good sport. I'm a good sport. We're going to stick with this. We want to see how this big tournament's going to turn out. Are you playing in the tournament? Uh, no, I'm not. That's right. Shop owners aren't allowed to play in the tournament. Employees cannot win. Otherwise, I'd beat you at that, too. I mean, I, w I would beat you at that. I guess I didn't beat you the last time. Well, don't feel so bad about the Donkey Kong thing. Here you go. Hold on, Tim. Buy something nice. What an idiot. Two dollars buys lots of things. Well, hello there, fellow bearded freak of nature. How are you? I am well. I am well, thank you. Are you here for the, the video game super tournament today, Marvel vs. Capcom? Absolutely. And who's your favorite character today? Um, I'm going to have to go with Wolverine. Man, everyone's going with Wolverine today. Is anybody here not going with Wolverine? Gambit, you were going with Wolverine. You're a liar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You get a second shot. Who are you going to go with now? Wolverine. Wolf, son of a. Challenger number one, what's your name? Grant Schrader. And Grant Schrader, who are you playing with? You got Wolverine versus Wolverine here. Okay, and uh, who else you got on your side? Ryu. Ryu, and who do you have on your side? Uh, Wolverine and Zangief. Zangief, a lot of size to him, makes him slur, but there comes in the quicker Wolverine, going after Ryu. Now, Blix Scree of Claws. Ryu, going for that huge uppercut. Misses big time, though, Wolverine. Defense is all the way. I'm excited, guys. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. Yes. I've never been so excited in all my life. All right, continuing on in the Marvel vs. X-Men tournament extravaganza here, we have uh, a gentleman wearing a, a Sixers jersey. We're not going to hold that against him, though. And uh, who are you playing as in this one? Uh, Gambit. And who else? Uh, I'm not sure. Ken, I think. Gambit just really sticking the stick to Chun-Li. And two crafty Cajuns going at each other. And <laughs> somebody's getting the shaft. They're so focused. You can't shake these guys. Look at them. There's a Pikachu, a yellow Pikachu right next to this guy. He's not even looking. Now, how do you feel about your odds after winning your matchup? Probably going to go ahead and win this all. Now, is this single or double elimination, folks? Single elimination. Single elimination. Who we got left in this one? Let's see our, let's see our parade of champions here. <laughs> now, these, these guys are the winners here. So if you have ever wondered, if you stood a shot of being in a winner in a room full of losers, these guys can tell you <laughs> the answer to that one is a firm yes. Nerds forever, am I right, gentlemen? Nerds? Forever. Uh, yep. Great success. Is that really your voice? No. Okay, then. Fair enough. There's like five sets of controllers on this thing. What the heck do I even press? I've got like two, like, Resist things. Resist what? Oh, wait. Tournament's getting ready to start. 
Back to action. It's the, uh, the opening round of the second round, the only round of the second round before we go to the third round, because Magic, who's lazy and didn't get here in time, actually gets a bye. He's rewarded for his laziness. And you know what we call that, folks? Succeeding backwards. <laughs> It's delicious. All right, let's wait, 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 wait. We're in the second round, guys. It's the only second round. We need some trash talk beforehand. Someone hit a pause button for me. There's no such thing as pause. It's too extreme. Extreme. <laughs> extreme. All right, Gambit and Wolverine taking it to each other right now. In the second round of this tournament extravaganza here today, X-Men versus Marvel. Right now, it's Marvel versus Marvel. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, what this guy said. <laughs> X-Men versus Street Fighter. For the Sega Saturn. You know why X-Men comes from Marvel? I'm not, I'm not that off gang. Off book, off something. You've got me on tilt here. What are you doing to me, Beans? Blitzkrieg, seven hit by Wolverine. Kick this guy's ass. Okay. That's what I like to hear. Someone that agrees with me. And Cammy just punished the big Russian. That looks absolutely inappropriate. So was your comment. Am I inside your head? Even Pikachu's rooting against you. He's inside of your head. He's inside of your head. Oh wow, he really is inside of your head. Look how on tilt you are now. Thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome very much. I would like to thank you for losing after after putting me on tilt here, in my ear. We got, we I didn't scream at all. That was Pikachu. Well, you lost right. at the Donkey Kong. I lost at the X Men because someone was talking. You blame Giddy. Okay. I blame you. That's the way it works. So you blame others. Fighting somebody? That's the American yeah, no. way. You blame others. I have no idea what you're talking yes. about. You blame others. You're not American. You blame him. Good game. Good game, sir. So Gibby. Oh no! Go. Thank Gibby. you very much. Pixel Nation, X-Men versus Street Fighter, final round. Both of these men love playing this tournament here in West Virginia. Now, which would you say is the better store, gentlemen, right now? I know you're in the midst of your last match and you're trying to concentrate, but who do you prefer, Pixel Nation or GameStop? Pixel Nation. Pixel Nation. Absolutely right. Retro all the way without exuberant prices. Final round matchup, things are heating up now. Gambit and Wolverine, these guys are the most skilled fighters out of all the nerds here today. They are the nerdiest. They will go on the least dates in life. They will have the most amount of money though. And let me tell you, sometimes that's a good thing. You poor bastard. Does your wife know that you love video games this much? Uh, yeah, she's here with me, actually. She's in the back studying. Notice she doesn't want to be out here on camera with you, though. I want you to think about that before you say I do. All right. How do you feel about your odds right now? Pretty good. Probably going to have a big comeback here and win if I can figure out how to tag. Top two buttons at once. It's the top two buttons at once. If you want to know how to tag, folks, we'll tell you how to play the game while it's going on. Fancy graphic blocked by Ken. Misses with a big spin kick and now Wolverine tearing him up. Things are getting hot and heavy here. And the final matchup, Wolverine lighting Ken on fire. It's Ken out of this one, Ken is gone. And then there was one Gambit. 
Play laid by Zangief, who drops the big elbow on him. Gambit needs to make a big comeback. It's real close now. It's real close. Derek. Derek is the winner. The winner, the nerdiest of the nerds. How this guy is engaged is beyond me. To be such an incredible nerd that he won the nerdiest video game tournament I've ever been in, sir, congratulations to you. How do you feel? I feel excellent. He feels excellent. Well, fans, that's all we have for you this time. Be sure you find this great hole in the wall store, Pixel Nation, in downtown Bluefield, West Virginia, home of Derek, the Street Fighter versus X Men champion of 012. Look at that muscle. No, no, in the fingers, in the fingers. There you go. Bye bye, fans. We'll see you next time. Nerd!